I like turtles. Yeah, Mr. Helfrich over here admiring his work. Oh. <laughs> 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 what a difference though, right? Just like a pond outside. Yeah. Once the plants come in, like what a huge difference. This is done. Like, I mean it this time. The, the inside is done. Wait, what? Actually, it's not. I was going to say the inside's done, but mm. we still have to get uh, those heat elements. Lies! Mm. Lies! All the lies! One more, one more month. <laughs> well, it's mail day here at Aquascape from Nearly Natural, a purveyor of fake plants and I gotta tell you these things look pretty stinking real Brian ordered a few hundred dollars worth of fake plants for in here inside the reptile enclosure you can see him playing with them right now I actually just ripped this one apart which I don't think they were meant to do <laughs> but yeah I mean inside it looks good and they need to be fake. They need to be fake. There's no way that monitor would allow anything to live in here. We could definitely play around with grow lights and soil conditions, but coming in here and watering the plants and everything is not really an option. And so we'll just go with this fake stuff. And the most we'll have to do main maintenance wise, I think is um, dust them off mm -hmm. periodically. You do it like this. Yeah, kind of go around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted some trailers. So we got this pothos, which really helps kind of soften this up next to the waterfall. We needed some height in there. There was a little shelf not meant to be a basking area for the monitor. So I wanted to load that whole space up to try to keep him from going over there. Keep him kind of on this space over mm -hmm. here. We've got another shelf here that'll have some heat on it. So he'll come up in this area. We've got like these little nooks that we designed, you know, to have some stuff just kind of sit back into here. So we could take like this fern that I split up and maybe shove it back in there. We just need something to break up the rock wall. Yeah. No, no different than anything we do outside. You know, everything we concentrate outside is rock placement, rock placement, but we know the plants make or break the whole thing. And this thing would look completely unfinished without these trees without some ferns without some trailing plants so we'll do our best and uh try to make it look as natural as possible chris yeah what are you doing we vaulted the entire bottom of this feature um, with aqua blocks and then put a concrete cloth a layer of concrete cloth over the top of it. So now what we're doing is we're putting holes in that concrete cloth to create our circulation jets. Cause if you remember, we have a huge three inch line with a nine PL feeding it, pumping water into the aqua blocks underneath the concrete cloth. So the idea is there's all these little jets or geysers coming up from the bottom, pumping all that crap that falls out of suspension down to the rock and gravel back into the current and help that get swept over into the skimmer. So we're just gonna pop at least one hole for now, maybe two or three, depending on how it works. So really the idea is more of like a under gravel filter for a fish tank, but reverse. So instead of water being sucked down through it, we're gonna push up through everything. And uh, we didn't know exactly where to put the holes, I guess, until we had it up and running. When we turned it on, we didn't really see a whole lot of water coming up through anything, no. right? So the concrete cloth blocked off a lot. Most of it was coming out through our clean out hole. Yep. that we put over in there. And because that's a 12 inch diameter hole, we don't see anything coming up. Right. Even with the 7,000 gallons of water being pushed through it, we don't see uh, anything really coming up through it. It's really, really slow. So having these little tiny holes, hopefully will give us some uh, added pressure or release some pressure and we'll get more of a little geyser right in front of the main viewing area here. Yeah, and I think you had a good idea too and maybe block that up a little bit more, yep. at least restrict the flow of the water coming into the bottom of that pipe so that we can put some more back pressure on the water that's being pushed out of that three inch pipe to the rest of the feature. And those are the things after we fill it, run it, we kind of test it out and we realize that, that those are improvements that we need to make. Hey, I would love to say we're getting close, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure if, if I hear that again, <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt somebody. I think we probably got about another two months on this. <laughs> okay. I love what you did with the pothos, like up around the joints of the branches there, just helping hide that. And I think, it, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it, it all goes together. Mm -hmm. Like the ferns, the pothos, the maiden grass, or what, the papyrus? Yep. Over there, kind of that tropical, lush look. I like the little ferns tucked in different areas. I mean, look at the difference this in the water. This looks really ball. awesome over here. Yeah, I can't wait. The plants just tie it all back together. Oh yeah. 
Money. Money. Those pothos worked good for hiding the um, the cables holding some of the trees. Yeah. And so we've got one left. We can get in here and, and touch this up. We still got that last branch. When we drained it this morning, we had a few things we wanted to accomplish, right? Mm -hmm. One was get the plants in, get our extra circulation jets kind of modified, uh, rework some of the lights. We added the light, yep. Which really, really, really sets this whole waterfall area off um, and doesn't make it kind of that black corner that it was. Hey, I just noticed you took your shoes off. You're always chasing me. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Because <laughs> I'm moving Woody. So what, this was just like a little vacation spot for him? It was. I gotta be careful about my toes. I'd be careful of your whole foot with that thing, not at your toes. It really warmed up in here. He's gonna love it. All right, so oh my God. we have to move Woody because we're putting some of the, the fish in here. All right, here we go. Oh man, this guy is so strong. Woody, an 85 pound alligator snapping turtle. Say hello! <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me. Nothing to see here. Oh my gosh, look at he's posing. He like kind of did a head tilt. Going down the steps. Oh, you carry him like a boulder. That's how we move boulders down uh, stairs. <laughs> Use your legs. <sighs> Good. Let me uh, get in front of you. I'll get that piece of glass out of the way. Right. So remove the safety glass. So this is the smaller cup for him because he doesn't need to move around a lot. How much would it cost to put your forearm in front of his mouth? Um, well, since I need my forearm for my life. Use your left one. Here we go. Oh my God. He probably gets a little bit more space on this side just to turn around, well, you know? Well, he's got some cover underneath the deck and then with the floating little skimmer. Yeah. That will put some of these fish into there temporarily. Yeah, we're back here again. <laughs> just a little behind the scenes footage. You never get to see this kind of stuff. Chris has uh, got a heat pad going in underneath. The turtle space over here, we're gonna put another one inside this rock because we really want that monitor to kind of sit on that rock, which would be visible from there. But as Chris was climbing out of here, we noticed something, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but all over, see those little white spots? That's not algae, those are actually koi eggs. There's koi eggs covering everything in here. So above water, below water, on the backs of turtles. It'll be fun to see which ones make it and which ones don't. From my knowledge, I heard a, an adult koi can lay hundreds of thousands of eggs. The probability of 12 of those babies making it in this setup would be amazing. After the turtles, the skimmers, the filters, and everything else. If we really wanted to try to keep them all and let them hatch, we would start trying to harvest those eggs or we would actually put brushes and stuff in here for them to spawn on then take those brushes and move them over to a isolated tank where there would be no predators or man-made obstructions that could kill them it does tell us that we made a pretty kick-ass enclosure uh-huh you know wow wow <laughs> all right behind the scene footage never seen before where are you going pine guy <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to call our videographer <laughs> say how pretty busy it is. We are extremely blessed to be working. 100%. I love the fact that landscapers are deemed essential. I think when people are sheltering at home, they need a water feature now more than ever. And I still get to play with my turtles. So right. I'm, I'm pretty lucky and I need it too because I'm going stir crazy not traveling. Beautiful map turtle. I don't know the names of the turtles. But this is a bigger one than this one. Oh my god. Huh? Oh, you know what? That turtle is 54 years old, right there. So this is also an older turtle than this one. This turtle was given to me by a woman who had it in a bathtub for 14 years after retiring as a school teacher that had sat in the classroom for 40 years. She comes and visits this turtle. Midland painted turtle babies that we hatch. I'll put a video link in there. Then you can see the, these baby turtles that we got out of the ground. And then uh, a larger Midland painted turtle that may be two years old. This is uh, one year old, this is two years old. That's how much they can grow in a year. This is a medium sized turtle.
want to thank Chris and Brian and Nick and all the people that were contributing. My turtles have a new home thanks to you guys. You know how to kiss up to the boss? Build a display like this. <laughs> So there's never a dull day here at Aquascape. There's always stuff going on. You can see Ed in the back. It looks like he's getting pretty darn close to getting that window in, which I'm really excited to see. At the same time all that was going on, Greg said, hey, let's get all the turtles in here. And I know what a big deal that was for Greg to get the turtles in here. In fact, the main, um, I guess, catalyst for doing this entire thing was to give those turtles more of a proper home. And so it was fun to design this whole thing. In fact, I even pulled out the old picture that I drew. Skimmer box is over there. We got the rock skins in front of everything. The tree's pretty close. I know we changed the door system on the back. I just got the grass in over there. I want to tweak that a little bit more. The only thing we really changed was this area here and it turned into more of a beach. And that was because I knew Greg was going to want to see those turtles come right up close to this window. It was really cool to see him catch those things from the back over there, bring them in here. But what was even better is the smile on his face. I guess it pays to make the boss happy every now and then. <laughs> hey, hope you guys like this stuff. Next animal to go in there is the Asian water monitor, and that's the one I'm truly excited about because for me, it was more the design for the Asian water monitor, and I wanna see how he climbs up the trees, if he climbs up the trees, where he goes, how he uses this thing, and how I intended him to use it. 